Hey guys, I just wanted to let you guys know that this week's deal of the week is our happy hour top. So this white button up top is only $26 this week only. So if you are interested in a super versatile, beautiful white button up top, then you can head on over to the website to grab one today. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley, if you are new and if you are not new, hey girl, thank you for coming back. So today is um, Wednesday, January child i don't know it's wednesday and i am at home and y'all probably like girl why is you at home don't you work yes but your girl got covid like ugh, it got me y'all so i am actually home i tested positive yesterday uh wow i tested positive monday and then i found out yesterday so i'm home for the next 10 days and it's like i just had 11 days off so now i'm gonna have another 10 days off which is like you know it's good and bad like I had a lot of stuff that I needed to do for work this week we have an audit this week and so it's just it's just unfortunate that you know I ended up catching the corona uh, I'm not sure like um you know if I have Delta Omicron regular like it's so many different versions out there I don't know what I got y'all um but yeah, I feel fine. It's just like I'm nasally and I have a slight cough. Like I need to cough right now, but I'm trying to hold it in. But hold on, let me let it out. Okay, I'm back. So, um, yeah, uh, I'm pretty good. So, yeah, I'm just home quarantined. I'll be here the next 10 days. So, I'm like, since I'm home, just get a, let's just get some stuff done. There's always stuff, you know, there's always stuff that you can be doing for your business and to, you know, make it better, whatever, whatever and um like i don't feel tired or anything like i actually feel like pretty okay like as far as like energy level like it's not like i'm just like down where it's like i need to just be laying in bed like i feel okay i do feel like kind of fatigued and tired and like a little lightheaded like when i'm up moving around like i don't want to just like be up moving around too much but like if i'm sitting down like i can work so that's what i plan to do these 10 days it's like just get some work done yeah i know i have my long to-do list on my whiteboard so i plan i really want to try to knock a lot of that stuff off of that to-do list and um yeah just you know get some stuff done so the plan for today um I just picked out three things from my to-do list so just gonna be my top three if you're familiar with Erin on demand she always talks about a top three um, and picking out you know just three tasks three important tasks that you want to get done for the day and then you know if you get additional tasks that are great but basically just don't overwhelm yourself with a long to-do list just focus on the top three most important things that you that needs to be accomplished that day and then you know so that's what I wanted to do. I just picked out three things from my task list. And so what I want to try to do today is create an about us page. I want to plan and create a blog post and then create a link and bio for my Instagram. So I really want a link and bio. But the reason I don't have one now is just because I don't know. We'll talk about that later when it comes to it. Like I'm, I be feeling like I have long freaking 12 minute intros of me talking so we'll just talk as i do the stuff so but right now before i start doing all that i'm working on um i edited two vlogs yesterday um when i while i was home yesterday i edited two vlogs so right now i'm just um i have one more vlog to edit uh, well, I don't have to edit it but i have one more vlog that's filmed and ready to edit um but i can't edit it um, because I don't have enough space on my computer so I need to delete the other vlogs that I already edited it but before I delete them I need to make the thumbnail so that's what I was doing was creating the thumbnail but I'm like let me just start the vlog I'm also I want to try to film some day in the life TikToks like I don't really never film those because I work during the day so it would be like just me at going to work and then like I don't do a lot of boutique work when I come home so it wouldn't really be like me doing stuff i don't know but so i'm like i have 10 days it's gonna be 10 day in the lights you know i could possibly film for tiktok <sighs> sorry um but yeah so i'm just working on i'm just working on what am i doing 
oh a thumbnail so I'm trying to change up my thumbnail actually because I don't want to try to I want to try to make the thumbnails fun so I'm just testing out different thumbnails to see what you know is attracting people lately I've been getting a lot more views you know my views well I don't know I'm not gonna say a lot because they're not it's not like oh I'm getting thousands of views like you know my views like I have a um, pretty small channel so I'm still you know growing so it's not like I'm getting thousands of views but they're doing better you know sometimes um let me go and look like some of my videos only have like 30 or 20 views so like that's like low so for like the video that I posted um Monday that one has 62 views so that's really good for me um and then the video that I posted last or not last week but two weeks ago that one has 80 views so it's like they're doing pretty good and so I don't know if it's like the thumbnail maybe it's like more eye-catchy than like what I was posting like the thumbnails before um so yeah I'm just trying to like you know switch it up have different thumbnails um so that way it's like you know see which what's more eye-catching to get people to click on it and then like watch the video and then hopefully subscribe if they like the content so let me show you um the thumbnail that i just created so this is the thumbnail that i just created so this is like kind of like how my thumbnails my last two thumbnails have been looking they've been looking maybe i can make it a little bigger oh not that big that's good so this is how my thumbnail has been looking you know this was um did i post this video yeah i think this was the last video that i posted i think is this it yeah this is the one that has 62 views so this is the last thumbnail that i posted um you know it looks pretty good this is the thumbnail for the video that i'm thinking of posting so this is the video that well by the time you guys are watching this this video is already up but um it's gonna go, i'm gonna post this video tomorrow um so it's just a january plan with me just planning out some content for the whole month of january and so i planned i took that picture because i wanted that picture to be the main one but i should have bagged up further because when i make it the full screen it's kind of like too close and it just looks weird so yeah um but yeah i was thinking of instead of making it like this and just putting day in life blah 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 putting it like this and then i just really wanted to emphasize the fact you know day in the life of a boutique owner just to try to like you know capitalize on the fact that you know this day in the life of a business owner and I, I didn't want to just say day in the life of a business owner like I wanted to be specific so yeah um and then this was my first time using this type of font when I did my manifestation that um video um and then this was like another one using that same one so yeah I didn't want to keep using this same thing over and over and over like I wanted to try to like switch it up even though it's pretty much the same but kind of different so these are all of the vlogmas thumbnails oh but this is how my thumbnail used to look it used to just say days in the life of a boutique owner um day in the life it basically always says that but this is how it used to look and so yeah I don't I didn't think that that was like too um eye-catching here's some like pop-up shop ones um i kind of miss my short hair and then um this is when i did the canva video oh and then i had thumbnails that looked like this behind the scenes where i had like you know i would kind of write up like what the video kind of like some stuff from the video on there um but yeah so I've changed my thumbnail you know I'm just trying different things like just to see like you know what you know then I've had this one day's day in the life of a small business owner um, <coughs> excuse me but yeah I've uh, these are like some of my older older videos these videos were really good though because I actually did a lot of stuff <laughs> I used to be doing a lot of stuff because this is when I used to model my own clothes so I was showing y'all me modeling the own clothes and stuff so if you really want to see some like good 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 stuff and you not too much talking then you watch these ones you like those but yeah so this one you know it's just day in the life of a small business owner and all that so um i've had um you know a bunch of different types of thumbnails so this is the one that i'm thinking of just going with i was trying to decide though if i wanted the pink um because it seems like pink is like my thing so i'm like do i want pink or do i want 
to be like maybe do black and white um the actual template is from is this one i can try to make it bigger to show you so this is what i took it from this um you know i talked about in one of my other videos actually i don't know if that video came out yet but basically using canva templates and making them your own you know making them work for you but just getting a guideline or whatever so i just took this and just you know made that um and then this was the original colors but i changed it to pink because a lot of my other thumbnails are pink so i'm like i don't know if i should keep pink or if i should change it to like black and white like child i don't know but i kind of like pink because it like stands out versus i feel like black and white is kind of just like dull like you know like at least with the pink even with the red it would have like stood out like you know it's like a bold color so it, you know you want your thumbnail to stand out so yeah so that's that and anyway this is like so off topic but i want to show y'all this new girl that i found on youtube her name is michaela ray i don't know if y'all can see that um michaela ray there y'all go yeah i just started like she came up with my recommended and she does a lot of like um small business like uh entrepreneur type vlogs the same type of vlogs that i do basically like and i love watching entrepreneur type vlogs like day in the lives of different entrepreneurs so she's she's a jewelry business um but i just love her hair like her short hair oh my god it's giving me life y'all know i have my hair short mine is long now well it's not long but it's probably it's too long for the finger waves i need to i definitely need to recut it um cut it again but i love that like i'm thinking when i take these dreads out uh whenever i start wearing my natural hair again because i need to get a uh, relaxer to maybe doing that instead of the finger waves uh i just love it i just love I love 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 her hair I'm just like girl you got me and I just did redid my dress but you got me wanting to take these out and relax my hair but I have to go to the shop to have them you know do this cuz I love that style but all right that was just a lot of talk a lot of you know jibber jabber so I'm about to just make this thumbnail and then I will come back once I start working on like the um, about us page Several days later. you guys so i finally finished <coughs> excuse me the about us page so this is what it's currently looking like it just has like the banner at the top with some pictures and then it just says about us learn about our mission who we serve what makes us different and meet the owner below and then it just has like our mission who we serve what makes us different and then meet the owner so that's pretty much it for our about us page so finally that is done the next day okay y'all so i have an order that i need to package but i really want to make a tiktok video and um i want the tiktok video to you know like look nice so i'm about to show y'all the ghetto setup i'm about to have to do also my apartment is a mess because i had to like go through all of these bins um i had to go through all those bins to try to get the order because the order was in like that last bin it's on the floor so i had to i had to go through a lot to get the actual item that she ordered um but i'm like super grateful for this order i don't give a damn if i have to like 
go through these bands 30 times a day, honey. If I get an order, I'm be gladly moving these bands around. <laughs> um, and then I also was going through some of this stuff too because um, I'm, you know, losing weight. So I'm able to fit a little bit more of the stuff. So I'm eight pounds down as of today. Whoop, whoop for me. Um, so I'm just thinking of some videos that I want to do with the stuff because i was looking back at um like my old tiktoks and like basically honestly i haven't been getting a lot of orders that i've been trying to figure out like what have i been doing different from before when i was getting orders all the time um, and mainly it's just been i haven't been trying on the clothes i haven't been like you know doing any live trials doing any styling and mainly it's just because i got so big that i couldn't fit the clothes and i didn't feel comfortable wearing the clothes either one i couldn't fit it or two i just didn't feel confident in it because I felt like I looked stuffed so I stopped wearing I stopped doing the little try-ons and the styling videos and all of that stuff um but which is why this year like I'm losing this weight so I'm eight and a half pounds down and so I'm hoping right now I'm doing keto so I'm hoping that by my birthday which is like a month a month away I can be at my goal weight or at least be back at the weight I was um at least be back at the weight that I was like a year ago um so basically I need to lose like 30 pounds I need to lose like at least 30 to 40 pounds to get back to that weight um so I'm hoping I can get as close to that as possible by my birthday um at least maybe lose 20 pounds um by my birthday but I'm really shooting for 30 um now y'all probably like girl you finna lose 30 pounds in a month keto work okay you can lose a lot in a month doing keto so um yeah so that's what i'm doing um but anyways that was just a whole tangent basically i was going through the bins i found a bunch of stuff that i want to try on and stuff as well so that's another reason why the bins everything is like crazy but i came on here to show y'all the ghetto setup i'm gonna have to do so what i'm about to try to do now the light is behind me so it looks crazy is i'm about to i need i want to package the order at my desk but y'all know my desk is like so like jank or it has like glue all over it let me show y'all it has like glue all over it like glue stains all over it so i really want to um like, I don't want that stuff to be showing when I'm doing the video. So, what I'm about to do is I'm actually about to use this tablecloth, um, which is the tablecloth I use when I do my pop-up shops. And I'm about to just put the tablecloth over this desk. Um, so, that way it looks like, at least it looks clean when I'm packaging this order. It's not like glue stains. And I've tried to get the stains off. Like, I clean my desk all the time. But I'm just, I just can't get the, the glue off. Like, I don't understand. So I'm about to just put this tablecloth on and package this video. I'm not going to be able to film me packaging the video for YouTube. Um, just because y'all know, I always say I only have, I film everything on my phone. I don't have a separate camera. So it's like either I can film it for YouTube or I can film it for TikTok. And I've been filming a lot more for TikTok lately versus filming for youtube like i've been doing a lot of stuff but i've been filming for tiktok so i can do kind of like day in the lives type of vlogs mini like vlogs for tiktok so a lot of the stuff that normally would be in the vlog i've been like recording it for tiktok instead um just because i really need to have more content for tiktok like i need to so make sure you guys are following me on tiktok to see more you know if you really like these day in the life vlogs follow me on tiktok because i post I'm going to start posting a lot of vlogs, mini vlogs on there. So then some of the stuff that's on there won't be in the vlog. Okay, we got it. So I'm about to finish setting up my little ghetto setup area. And then I will insert the TikTok, like the packaging TikTok video after I get done rambling. <laughs> um, and then we will get on with the day. Yes, sir. 
ready. So I have everything I need to package the order. I have the bag that this, this is the item is gonna go in that bag. And the thank you sticker on it. I have the shipping bag. I have the label. I have my laptops. I print the label hooked up to my label printer. And then I have the scale so I can weigh the item for shipping. So I'm gonna make um, like an Instagram, a little video for my stories. I'm going to make a little video for my stories um, just saying, hey guys, I'm packaging your order, da 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 and um, because I need to start getting more content, I really want to try to be more like, just show more. I feel like I'm just so stuck on, I can't not, I don't really show behind the scenes a lot just because I want to come off as professional. Like I need to be professional. The big brands don't show behind the scenes. Da, 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 da. Fashion Nova don't show them packaging orders. They don't tell you when they're packaging orders. Da, da, da. Fuck them. Okay. I need to get back to the fuck them and get back to the, what I used to do. I used to show when I was going to the post office, I used to show all of that on my Instagram stories. And now I've just not done it one. Cause I, I don't really go to the post office, but even when I do, I never really show it. Like I'm always, I always, I don't know why I have it in my mind that showing behind the scenes is not professional when it is professional. Like I am a small business. I'm not big. Like I don't just, I can't do what other big brands do. I need to show my personality. I need to show that I'm a small business, that I'm grateful for every order i need to show that so that's what i'm doing this year i'm about to show that i'm not about to be trying to worry about oh this isn't that professional oh this is like no fuck all that okay professional ain't making me no money not saying that i'm about to be unprofessional but like the idea of like not showing all that stuff that's not making me money so i'm about to get back to showing the behind the scenes like i used to and right so I did all that rambling. I don't know why, but <laughs> I'm about to package this order and then I will insert like the clips of the TikToks, the little Instagram stories and all that stuff I make now. Guess what y'all? I ain't even start packaging orders yet. I know I said that was gonna be the next clip. I got another order. Like <laughs> I only had one order to package before, but then I just got an order for our um, deal of the week, one of, uh, which is this week's deal of the week is a happy hour set. It's not set. Our happy hour top. When y'all watching this video, it ain't gonna be the deal of the week no more so make sure you guys are signed up for our email alerts and our text alerts even though i didn't send out a text message this week because child ain't got no money to pay for texts this week but i did send out an email um but yeah so we got an order for our deal of the week but before i package the orders since the orders can't go out right now i mean they can't go out today anyway i'm actually about to make like a post for my story um I kind of want to do like a to-do list, day in the life of a boutique owner, da 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 type of thing for my personal Instagram story because y'all know I'm trying to, um, I know I'm trying to, um, what the hell am I doing? I'm trying to, um, grow my personal Instagram, damn it. So yeah, I know I'm trying to grow my personal Instagram. So I am about to just make like a little to-do list, um, you know, day in the life of a boutique owner to-do list, uh, just of some tasks that I'm going to do today. Um, but I'm super happy I got an order. I'm mad I didn't get to hear the cha-ching. Uh, but I'm super happy. I literally just went and took Pepper out and then, um, like I came back and I looked at my phone. I saw like Shopify notification. I'm like, what? I shouldn't have one. Like I, I know that I have an order, um, but super excited. So um, yeah, let me just, I'm trying to figure out, I'm looking on Canva. Let me show you. So I'm using Canva. I use Canva for everything. If y'all ain't using Canva and then child, what are you doing okay so i was like i kind of like this one like it looks real girly and then this one was cool too and then i kind of like this one um but yeah i use canva for literally everything anytime i'm like oh i want to do this i'm always like let me see and i just type in like to-do list on canva and like stuff will you know like pop up so i think I'm just gonna, I need to just pick one. Cause now I'm doing too much. So, 
I think I'll do this one. This one looks simple. I don't have that much to do today, so I don't need it to be super long. But yeah, I think I'm just gonna choose this one. Change the date. January. I believe today's the 17th. 2022. Uh, I know I need to package orders, but I don't know which. Oh, yeah. Package orders. I know I want to make some TikToks today, too. Make some TikToks slash reels. Um, what else do I want to do? Is the style district? This is going to be the picture. I mean. This is gonna be the final post. The picture behind it is like a very old picture. It's like literally over a year old, but I'm still gonna use it because I don't have no recent picture and I think it's cute. The picture in the back, that ain't really the focal point. The focal point is the to-do list for today. Oh, what you do to me? Between me and you, I feel like chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced. So no one else. All right, guys, so it is now 1.41, and literally it's since like an hour since I last said I was going to package these orders, but I finally packaged the two orders. So here they go. So I have these two orders done. Hopefully I can get one more order before tomorrow. I'm um, taking them to the post office tomorrow since uh, today is MLK Day. Yeah, so the goal is to get one more order before tomorrow morning. Um because I'm going to take them to the post office tomorrow. So, yeah. Um, I'm about to just do what I got to do. Keep promoting. I'm actually about to plan out some TikToks and stuff that I'm about to do. I actually have a bunch already, like, saved. So, but I want to do, like, some styling. Let me back up. Shane, I'm close to sales in my face. But I want to do some styling ones. Let me get away from this window because it's loud. But I want to do some styling ones as well. So, I'm going to kind of plan out the TikToks a little bit. Um, do my makeup. I want to try to get it done. It's about to be two o'clock. I would like to be done by like four maybe um, Because then I'll take or by like 430 because then I can take pepper on a walk and then You know start posting and stuff because I typically heavily post in the evening anyway So yeah, I'm about to stop rambling and just get to going with getting ready to make some TikToks and stuff Hey, Kansas I was just looking and I saw I had a visitor and they're in Kansas. So Hey, Kansas. Okay, so I did not make any TikToks. Like I said, I was going to do a couple clips ago. What's new? So, um, yeah. So what I'm about to do now, though, is start working on my blog. I talked about um, starting a blog for the Style Districts. Um, when did I talk about that? In one of my other videos um so yeah i am i want to start a blog for the style district um 
because I want the starter shit to be more than just like something to shop like I want it to be a whole like style experience like I want people to come be able to come to the style district if they're looking for style inspo and I think it'd be a great way to drive traffic to the site if I have a blog um, and then they could eventually purchase because I plan to just mainly talk about the things that I'm selling and like how to style pieces like that I'm selling and then you know um, <clears throat> they hopefully it could lead to sales and it's great SEO as well so yeah I took a like a free little four step to running a successful blog class like a couple months ago um, and I had been thinking about it since before since about maybe like November that I wanted to start a blog this year um, one of someone in Jan's monthly membership had mentioned blogging as a great way to increase, you know, site traffic and all that stuff. So, okay, so I took the class. So she basically um, kind of just went over some stuff. So I'm about to kind of like just plan out a little bit of like, kind of like what I want the blog to be, even though I pretty much already know that, but just plan out like some blog topics and then kind of like do a little bit of market research as far as like different fashion blogs how are they writing their blogs how is what does it look like and then working on my first blog post um for right now i'm thinking of just doing one blog one blog post a week and so it probably will be centered around whatever the deal of the week is just to like further try to sell that item um so for this week's blog post it would be excuse me it will be about our happy hour top and basically styling different ways you can style a button up top um <coughs> excuse me so yeah so that's what i'm about to do let me just show y'all this little um pamphlet thing that the lady talked about in her blogging class Okay, so this is the girl that did the blogging class. I can't remember her name, um, but I found her on Instagram. Like, it, an ad came up for it, and it was, like, a free class. So I was just like, okay, I'll let's tune in. And so she talks about the four steps to running a successful blog. Oh, there, here's her name. So if you wanted to look her up on Instagram or anything like that. Um, and then it just talks about identifying your niche and figuring out content buckets. So I know my niche is going to be fashion and then, like, different content buckets will be style tips style guides gift guides fashion trends you know just some different um content um pillars whatever and then it was just create your reader avatar so i would have to go in and do that um and then it was like about basically planning out content so then you would write whatever the content bucket is here and then write down a bunch of different blog posts so just do that for all your content buckets so this would be like style guides or how to style so then i'll put all my different styling things if i have gift guides different gift guides blog ideas i want to do and basically you know that like that and then it just it talked about um how to um how to like basically a bunch of other stuff so yeah, that's what I'm about to work on right now. I probably will come back, you know, once I am done filling this out and uh, once I start, once I like have written my blog posts and kind of just show y'all what it looks like because obviously by the time, you know, this video comes out, the blog post would have been up. So yeah. Okay guys, so it is 9.54. Um, worked pretty hard today. I did not get a chance to um, actually put a blog on my website because I can't figure out how to do it. So I had to reach out to the website theme people, developer or whatever, to try to figure out how to actually create a blog on the website. Excuse me. Um, right now I'm working on Pinterest posts. So uh, I'm going to be working on this for the rest of the night, but I just wanted to end off the vlog because I'm about to take my lashes off and just sit on the couch and relax. Uh, probably go to bed soon. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to end off the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. A couple days with me. Um, actually, I think it's only going to, I think I'm going to combine two days. So it's like two days with me. Um, also, I did not get... Um, 
I didn't get a second, another order today. I really wanted to try to get one more order today, but like I said, I wanted to get one more order before I go to the post office and I'm not going to the post office until tomorrow, probably either before or after my, um, what is it? What am I getting tomorrow? My oil change. So I still have time to get one more order, but we have our two. Two is still better than none because before I only had one and then another one snuck in. So I'm super excited about these. Um, my packaging is so cute. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will, I will see y'all in the next one. Peace out.